Hey, what's up everybody? This is Two Tail Caper. This is coming right off the heels of my Higarashi Blu-ray unboxing. Um, but another show that I got from Right Stuff is the Princess Tutu Complete Collection. Uh, this is just released. Actually, it's not even supposed to come out until next month, but I received mine early from Right Stuff, which is awesome. Um, this is a Magical Girl series, and as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the best. Um, so this series has been released four times. Now, this is the fourth complete collection of the series. Um, so it's four times, not counting the original uh, DVD release things. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, it's only this one and the original 2007 complete collection that's worth anything. And um, I'll tell you why in a moment. But let's look at this one first since it's older. Uh, now, Princess Tutu, like I said before, is probably one of the best magical girl shows out there. Um, it has a dark twist on the genre, and it plays out like a Grimm Brothers fairy tale. So in that case, I'm not sure what they were thinking with this packaging. I mean, the bold font, Rue, one of the characters is named Rue, like this on the front cover. And not to mention, it's brown with pink and blue accents. Um, and I'll get into why this is one of the only of the two complete collections that's worth it. Um, but I mean, every, other than that, I mean, it's a good release. It's got really good extras on here. Let's see. Darkness hit the pieces of her beloved shattered heart and time is running out for Princess Tutu to find them. So this is like a really, has a really dark overtone and it's something that I really enjoy about it. Um, but I do also enjoy the magical girl genre that goes on here. It's very, it's just very well done all around. Um, so let's get this opened up. So this is why, oh, Jesus Christ, this is why there's only two good versions of this out there. It, this and the new one both use pages. So it has disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, disc five, and disc six, six rather, all in their own separate pages. And you might be thinking, well, that's pretty standard, you know, that's not really revolutionary at all. But that is a big problem. Oh, actually, this one also does have the... I mentioned I'd never seen it before on the Higurashi Blu-ray that had that locking mechanism, but this one does it too, and I never noticed that. That's so interesting. Um, but you might be thinking that the page method is standard. You know, lots of the stuff I have has pages and whatever, and that may be true. But there, um, this was released in 2007. In 2009 and 2011, um, or 2012, I don't remember which year, they brought out a set. This is not Princess Tutu, but they brought out a set that was like this. So it had each... This is um this is like a mini series type show, but it's actually really good. This is also a fantasy type thing, um, but all the discs are sitting on top of each other, in one single spindle, and that's called a stack pack. With this kind of packaging, you're almost guaranteed to have scratch discs, even if you're really really careful with them. Um, so that's why the the second and third set are just not worth having, in my opinion. So it's this set with the terrible, terrible packaging, and this new set, which completely trumps all the other releases. It has all the bonus features from every single release, which is basically everything that was in this set is in here. Um, the discs themselves are the content on the disc is pretty much a carbon copy. It's got the same menu setup, except um, some of the text is changed to say Acer Holdings on it instead of ADV. God, I'm sinking up. Anyway, but the packaging. The cover art and the disc art is just so much better than every other release. So we've got um, Duck, as she's called in the English dub, or Ahiru in the Japanese dub, with Muto, and uh, one of the villainous characters, Princess Krehi, on the front. And you can just sense the dark overtone that this show has right from the start with this. Um, it does take about episode eight episodes, I believe, to really get into the flow of things. But you can really sense the, um, the dark overtone coming in with episode three when something about Princess Tutu is revealed. Uh, let's see. Only hope can bring light to eternal darkness. Only love can restore a shattered heart. Only a dream can transform a girl into a swan. Um, so basically, the story is that sh this girl, Duck, is actually a duck in the literal sense. Um, and she's granted the power to turn into a girl who can in turn turn into Princess Tutu and save the, the prince's shattered pieces of his heart and return them to him. Um, but here is the um, overview, if it'll ever focus. This is a really good show. Even if you're not a fan of Magical Girl shows, I would recommend this to you if you enjoy a good story. If I can just get a better grip on that really shaky today 
sorry about the cut there. I was just trying to get my hand to stop shaking, but I guess I can't. Um, but I get, did get to focus a bit more, so you can read through this. Um, it's got all sorts of special features, outtakes, which are actually really funny. TV specials, um, things that explain ballet for people who aren't so ballet savvy like me. Um, clean opening and closings, promotional videos, pre-production, all that good stuff. So it's got all 26 episodes on six discs. Now this set back here, the 2007 one, each of the discs is very simple. Uh, just a brown disc with the number on its side, complete collection written in pink and blue, written as Princess Tutu. This one is so much better than that. Also, it takes up about three times less space. So here's the spine on this. Uh, Princess Tutu, you've got Duck on the front. All that stuff, so let's get this opened up. So did this actually have things on them with a decorative background? So this one has Duck. This one's got um, Muto. Rue and Fakir. Uh, Duck, uh, uh, Princess Tutu, and Mr. Cat, who's actually one of the funniest characters in this show. His English voice is just excellent. And I do recommend a dub for this one. I just haven't watched in Japanese because the, Jap the dub is so good. So we've got Duck and Fakir on this one. And then the last one, this was featured on the original artwork. Um, and it's Rue in the revealing outfit, like on the 2007 set. I just... I just don't understand why they made that the forefront artwork for this show. Um, but that's pretty much it. I would definitely recommend picking this up on Right Stuff. It's pretty much like $25. You get 26 episodes and a ton. And by a ton, I really do mean a ton of special features. You can also pre-order this on Amazon. I believe it's 27 there. Um, so, you know, pick this up if you like a good story. Um, a while ago, this was available on Hulu for free streaming. I don't know if that's back yet, but it did disappear for a while. So that, 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 I can't speak today. If that does come back, you can always um, check it out there. But if not, um, I still would recommend picking this up if you like a good story or if you like fairy tales or magical girl genres or, you know, dark themes as I think this, I think you'll really like the show. Um, but that was my video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.